Red Academy from Cobb Comedy Company in San Francisco, California, for a brand new episode of Kill Tony Media 2. San Francisco, this is it. This is the late show. Let's fucking go. Make some noise. Yeah, how about one more time, good luck for the pod father himself, the great uh, Brian hi. Red Band, everybody. I'm so drunk. The master of podcasts. We are here for Kill Tony Mania 2, the late show. Live. How fucking exciting is this, man? And hey, look, it's the house artist, Ryan J. Ebel, right over there, all the way from Los Angeles. He draws every single episode of the show, including tonight's. While you all sit there enjoying yourself, he's going to be drawing tonight's episode. So much fun stuff happening. Wow. You're really into playing DJ right now, huh? I'm <laughs> DJ Brian. Heck yeah. DJ Dead Pig over here. Uh, all right. This is exciting. Very good. All right. We keep going on the road. We're having a lot of fun. We have two more sold out kilt. How many of you guys are coming tomorrow, huh? You guys are very lucky. I put a lot of fucking effort and thought into this crazy shit. So uh, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight and uh, tomorrow as well. And we go on uh, to Australia just this week after this. Wednesday, we fly off to Brisbane. Friday shows Ma Melbourne on Saturday and Sydney on Sunday. Then we go to D.C. in early November. We just announced Columbus, Ohio at the Newport Music Hall in December on the 12th and the 14th in Pittsburgh at the Rex Theater and the 15th in Cleveland at the House of Blues. Calgary, Canada in January, but we're here tonight live in San Francisco. Kill Tony Manias are very special shows. How many of you were at Kill Tony Mania last year? It's a pretty good amount. Clearly nobody in the back was here last year. Uh, only the front is reacting to any question that I asked so far. How about people in the back? How many of you were here last year? Oh, look at that. What a loyal following. A lot of new fans this past year. Fun fact, we did episode 300 here last year. And uh, we just did episode 400 in Sacramento. We're on 404 or 403 right now. Something crazy. Yeah, Best massage parlors ever. It's unbelievable. And uh, you guys know how it works. Uh, and you might know that on the road shows, we normally go guestless. But tonight on Kill Tony Mania, is one of the special things is you get to see some of your favorite people in the show's history do panel after they do a special guest spot. We alternate bucket and guest spots and things like that. So uh, there you go. Now you guys may know, if you're real fans of the show, that we do have a band on this show, ladies and gentlemen. It's a real thing. They do characters every single episode. We never know if they're going to be something uh, from the past that uh, we've seen before, a brand new character. Uh, like the last episode, the famous cat burglars made a return. We don't know what they're going to be tonight. Let's all find out together. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the best damn band in the land, some of my funniest friends. It's the Kill Tony Band, Jeremiah Watkins. Chroma Chris, special guest tonight joining the band, Jesse Johnson, and on drums, Jolbert Joel Jimenez. Make some noise, everybody. Oh, what? no fucking way. Wait a second, no way. This is my favorite TV show of all time, The Golden Girls, ladies and gentlemen. We've never seen them on this show before. This is the first time that the Golden Girls have ever been on. I'd remember it if it happened. Oh, my God. Jeremiah Watkins, clearly B. Arthur tonight, wow. the leader of the pack. Vroom, first, vroom. first time Jeremiah is wearing the clothing how he acts every day on the road. There it is. That's an actual uh, outfit. Jeremiah, you're uh, B. Arthur, am I correct? Dorothy, how you doing? Oh, going by the character names. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Dorothy. Hell yeah. Oh, you're, the, uh, you're the transgender one. All right. Brian's just floating out the first thing that comes to his head so far tonight. Here we are. That's all true. And you're clearly the intoxicated one, honey. You need some help. Oh, he didn't get his joke out because you hit the Golden Girls theme. Uh, next to him, we have Jesse Johnson joining the band, everybody. How exciting. <laughs> And uh, you are, I'm guessing, uh, Rose, right? I'm Rose. Oh, and Tony. I, <laughs> oh, Tony. I just got the name of the show. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Rose, you're so oblivious. Fuck yeah. 
And clearly, uh, and clearly next to her we have um, what is so blatantly Blanche, unless you look at her at all. Hello, Tony. <laughs> Hi, Blanche. You could be my own San Francisco treat. Uh-huh. Mm -mm -mm. Hell I yeah. eat you up. Hell yeah, there you go. Fuck yeah. And uh, clearly over here, the one and the only, uh, Joel's grandmother. Um, Name's Sophia Zbornak. I'm Italian and I'm old. Hi, Sophia. Hell yeah. You seem like you've uh, never seen Golden Girls. Picture before. this. San Francisco, 2019. Kill Tony Mania 2. Don't worry about it, pussycat. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm excited about this. You guys excited? The Golden Girls are here, everybody. <laughs> And of course, we have a uh, we have a, a whole another part of this show, the Bucket of Destiny. Everybody, a bunch of people signed up for the opportunity to uh, come on this stage, do 60 seconds of what's supposed to be stand-up comedy uninterrupted, and uh, and then we interview you and talk with you about your life, find out more interesting stuff about you. You know, your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then, or else you're gonna bring out the angry Castro District Bear. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> wow. This is real tonight, this is really happening. I'm excited about this. Uh, you guys ready to start this fucking show or what? Here we go. But, since this is Kill Tony Mania, what do you say before we go to the bucket? Let's just start with a special treat. You guys like special treats? Let's fucking do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have regulars on this show. You guys like regulars? People that you get to watch grow over time and go on to do even bigger and greater things. A lot of people say this is like a modern day SNL or Tonight Show where you see comedic talent from the future. Would you guys agree? <laughs> I present to you the newest regular on Kill Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, he's taken the whole show by a storm. I present to you one of my favorite top young rising comedians in the world. It's David Lucas, everybody. With a brand new minute. Never seen before a minute from David Lucas. Yeah. There's a lot of racism in the world, in case you guys didn't know. But you know what the most racist things are? Nursery rhymes. <laughs> Did you guys know that nursery rhymes are racist? The most racist nursery rhyme is Ba Ba Black Sheep. <laughs> you ever heard the lyrics? Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yassa, yassa, three bags full. <laughs> <laughs> One for my massa, like, hold up, what the fuck these white people got me reading in the second grade? The most racist place in the world is a laundromat. Did you guys know that shit? Think about it. You can't wash the whites with the coloreds. <laughs> Then you can't wash the dark colors with the light, the light colors. And then the dark colors can't get hot water. Like, why the fuck the dark clothes can't get hot water? I don't so. Fuck yeah, David Lucas. Another brand new minute. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Heck yeah. What's going on? Fuck yeah, we have learned AC. I said, hey. Hey, fuck yeah. We learned in Sacramento a couple nights ago that David Lucas has an affinity for white people music. Hell yeah. Uh, My favorite band growing up was Hootie and the Blowfish and Matchbox 20. Hell yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. You, you look like H Hootie ate the Blowfish. <laughs> hey, oh. what was your uh, favorite Hootie and the Blowfish song to karaoke? Uh, okay. of the only one that they had a hit with. <laughs> oh, you, you talking about Let Her Cry? No, the other one. I'm drunk. I'm ha not drunk, but I'm oh tipsy. No. Oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I think you're in Red Banner. Hold my hand? Oh, okie dokie. No, Matt. Let's just, uh, let's just uh, relax Matchbox a little 20. bit there. Uh, you want, Matchbox 20. Is there something you want to sing? 3 a.m. You want to go a cappella or you want the background music? I think the band can hold me down. You, the band got gotcha. Wow, they actually do <laughs> know it. Did you guys plan this? Baby, <laughs> it's 3 a.m. I must be lonely. <laughs> What's the other way? Uh, Let's 
said, I don't know if I've ever been good enough. I'm a little bit rusty. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. I want to push you around. Well, I will. Well, I will. I'll... Well, I will. Well, I will. I want to <laughs> take you for granted. What the fuck just happened? I can't believe how much of this song he knows. I want to take you for granted. I will, I will. Fuck yeah, David Lucas. Getting the show started with a bang. Yeah, you know yeah. what, David? Put that mic stand up there. David Lucas is going to join panel right now. He's going to stay up here because this is fucking Kill Tony Mania, and that's how shit works. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys ready to go to the bucket for the very first time tonight? Anything can happen. Maybe it's somebody's first time. Maybe it's somebody that's a comedy vet, a local hero. Anything can happen. Your first comedian going up tonight, getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds, and then talking with us about their lives goes by the name of John Holt. John Holt. By the way, you go up right here. Come on, everybody. One more time, good and loud for John Holt. Straight out of the bucket. Live in San Francisco. What's up, everybody? How you doing tonight? <laughs> All right, so uh, let's start off light. Who here is into butt sex? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like mostly guys. That checks out. Uh, so I'm a nurse. I had an interesting uh, question from a patient the other day. Um, patient had uh, ostomy, so they have a new stoma, they had part of their bowel removed, and they asked me, I think some of you are with me, uh, if, they can, if they can still have butt sex, um, and we, we talked about that, and uh, they were pleased to find out that their shitter wasn't a shitter anymore, and that uh, things were going to be going um, a lot more smooth moving forward. <laughs> um, I got invited to a gender reveal party a um, couple weeks back. It's kind of strange because I didn't have any friends that were pregnant. Hell yeah, one more time for John Holt, everybody. John, keep the mic out of the mic stand. You're going to need that. Put it right up to your mouth. Right up there. <laughs> Fuck yeah, just like that. You were talking with it down. I, 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 it was like you were doing a puppet act with your penis. The microphone was so low, it was incredible. Like, how the fuck do I hear him right now? His lips are moving, but uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Did you uh, create Rick and Morty? <laughs> no. 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 No, definitely not. He's a different version. He looks more like sick and 40. <laughs> Sick and 40? That's like funny. That's funny as 40 fuck. years old? All right, fuck it. We'll, we're, we'll warm up. How are you, buddy? Uh, good. How's it going? I've never seen Steven Spielberg with leukemia before. This is exciting. <laughs> what, what middle school are you a nurse at? <laughs> trauma, trauma center. That's so cool. How long have you been a nurse for? Uh, about five years. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, hello. Heck yeah. Hello. If you, if you, how about these ladies? You see anything wrong with them? Looks like... Uh, Looks like Estelle Getty's drinking a bottle of Coors Light over here tonight. I've had a long, rough life, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, you're a rock star. Do some I like it. later. I like it. How long you been doing uh, comedy, John? Uh, first time ever on stage. First time ever on stage, everybody. How about that? You ever, you, the goat of the first time. You ever been on stage doing anything before of any kind? Uh, no, I do some teaching sometimes. I have to talk to people, but... What do you teach? Uh, just part of the nursing. Oh, nursing. Heck yeah. <laughs> What's the uh, craziest thing you've ever had to take care of or seen as a nurse? Ugh, my <laughs> mother. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy, nothing's ever changed with you. <laughs> the Golden Girls are the best of all time. Do you have to take uh, care of your mother? Yeah, what, what, what have you seen? I you do. Ever, <laughs> you, you ever so seen? I'm a, uh, I recently left the cardiac floor. I'm a wound and ostomy nurse, so I deal with some pretty intense, crazy wounds. Like what? Like what, what happens? What, do you, what have you seen? Uh, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, there you go. Wow, that's incredible. Red band, that's crazy. Yeah, early. There you go. I can't believe you blew that that early. There goes your one fart noise. Talk, talking about intense wounds, you ever seen Blanche's pussy? Oh. Hey, now. Man. Mother. Mother. David Lucas, what do you think about this guy? You ever seen a guy like this before? He has the haircut of a guy that fucks black women and help their kids with homework. (laughs) Is he right? Is he close to this? You ever have sex with a black woman before? Yeah, but no homework involved. Whoa, no homework. Did you take her blood pressure? (laughs) (laughs) Pre-nursing. Oh, okay. Wow. It was Um, just a one-time thing? You went black and then you went back? Uh, yeah, off, off and on. She yeah. totaled his car. <laughs> <laughs> she actually gave me a car, so that worked out. She, oh, gave, you, she gave you her car? Uh, her grandmother's car. It might be stolen. <laughs> Just because... Was it a Lincoln? Gives, what kind of girl gives a guy a car? It has nothing to do... With, all right, uh, anyway. Um, uh, yes, there is a wolf involved in this somehow. Uh, so, uh, John, what else about you? What, what are like your hobbies and stuff? You seem like the kind of guy that has the new Mario Kart for the iPhone. <laughs> so good. It's so good. Uh, no. Um, uh, <laughs> trouble with that steering, right? You can't figure it out. The thumb. Uh, I play soccer. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. That explains the haircut. Yeah. Yeah. You look oh. like if Edward Snowden actually got snowed in. <laughs> <laughs> I, re- I removed my goalie 20 years ago. <laughs> Wait, does that mean you can't get pregnant anymore? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you play soccer, uh, John? Yeah, I do. And I coach my son, but I play on a couple Oh, of you kids. have a son. Yeah. How many kids do you have? Just one. Six. Just one. Six years old. Was this with the yes. African-American nope. woman? Nope. With no. my wife of uh, 10 years. Oh, you've had a wife for 10 years. That's cool. What does she do? Uh, she's HR director at a university, liberal arts college. Ooh. Awesome. Okie dokie. Yes, it is awesome, Brian. Very good. Uh, wow. Um, what's your uh, favorite thing to do to her in the bedroom? You seem like the kind of guy that knows how to fucking... Listen. <laughs> you, you fuck through your boxer hole, don't you? That's a good point. David Lucas made a good point. He, sa- he's, uh, he has a theory that John fucks with his boxers on. I can picture that. You pull your boner... Hard to pull a boner out of that wiener hole yeah. in boxers, but no, I feel like you sort of like name. lift the boxers over it. I feel like you don't really grab it and finagle it through. I feel like you pull on your boxers. I feel like you have a flex band type of boxer. Am I correct? Yeah, that's correct. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. He wants the lights on. You know, so. Yep, lights on, boner through the <laughs> boxer hole. <laughs> Air freshener plug. Is that up. obvious? Yep. Yep, absolutely. You still light a candle, though. It's not her idea. It's always yours. You like the smell. Yeah, yeah something like musky, usually. Yeah. You're musky? Yeah. No. Okay. Candle, yeah. Well, there you go. You're romantic? Yeah. Uh, what are your I, thoughts? I, mean, on, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. What are your thoughts on foreplay? Uh, yeah, what necessary? Would you do, well, yeah, what would, you, what would you do with the four of us women? Yeah, what would you do if you were given the opportunity with the Golden Girls? Let's say the Golden Girls had a fucking one fell and couldn't get up, and uh, well, I'd, I'd probably get a bucket of Destiny, make them put their their names in. That was horrible. Jesus, I mean, <laughs> and then what? We do a better minute of stand up than you could. I'm sure, yeah, for sure. I don't even know what you well, meant by that. I don't even know what you were even trying to. He's get gonna at fuck it. whoever he pulls from the bucket. I'm glad you got oh, a good job. Shit. I thought he meant charades. <laughs> Well, John, I'll tell you this. It's a hard job to uh, follow David Lucas on this show, especially if it's your first time ever doing stand-up. Uh, you know, uh, work on your technique. Go do it again yeah. if it's something you want to do. Hold the microphone up to your mouth next time you do it, though. There he goes. John Holt, everybody. Fuck yeah, John. There you go. Oh, he left me hanging. That's all right. Oh, thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done had you not come back. He left me hanging, but after he watches his set here tonight, he's the one that's going to be hanging himself. How about that? There you go. (laughs) That was good, Brian. That was good. All right, pull the name out of the bucket. You guys having fun out there? Anything can happen. Put your hands together for Connor Lonsdale. Connor Lonsdale, the bucket of destiny, has made a decision on you. And the sky is gray. I went for a walk. I went for a walk on a winter's day. 
one more time for Connor Lonsdale, everybody. Bukake is a genre of pornography. It's from Japan. And what it is, is there'll be one lady, and then they have like a hundred guys all come on her face. Yeah. I have watched some of these films. I've formulated an opinion. Too much cum. <laughs> Who needs that much cum? Nobody. Cum in her mouth, cum in her hair, cum in her eyes. This fucking greedy bitch is hogging up all the cum. <laughs> hey lady, save some for the rest of us. A lot of people say they feel sorry for the lady. You know who I feel sorry for? That hundredth guy. <laughs> he finally gets up there, he's like, oh, is she even gonna notice? Fuck yeah. Connor <laughs> I've heard that joke. Everybody. Uh, really? Yeah. Where? Well, well, there you go. There you go. Time. Way to really take it over there, it's Brian. An obvious take. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I was, I was going to take a more of a comedy approach to it. I was going to bing it, right? Oh, 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 okie dokie. <laughs> okay, you want to Okay. Uh, so Connor Lonsdale, everybody. One more time for Connor. Sure, he did it. Connor, my first question. Did you just get the internet? This uh, Bukaki things, we, we, you know, it's... It's been a thing for a while. You explained it to everybody. I guarantee you, if these people are here at Kill Tony Mania, they know what the fuck a bukkake is. Am I right, people? This is the bukkake ballroom of stand-up comedy. I mean, these people are here for blood, guts, and cum. Am I right, people? Yes. You spend 30 seconds explaining what a fucking bukkake is. So with, with that said, I definitely, I mean, how long have you been on stand-up? About a year. Yeah, man, a oh. year. It's uh, I, I am with Brian. I wouldn't have hit it right away, right from the gut, like he did. I was gonna build I'm up. Sorry, to it. but we definitely. You know what I mean? If it, there's people since bukkakes have been a thing for so long, <laughs> I mean, obviously brand new to you. <laughs> there have I didn't been. Know. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't know? I didn't know until like within the last year. There must be something on porn what? sites that you're so into that you've been ignoring everything else. Like you must be the king of big tits. You must just, like, any letter you type in on your first search bar, just uh, you find out there's a big tip website that must pop up immediately. There must be something. Okay, I'm going to check in with uh, the great B. Arthur Dorothy. Uh, first of all, never heard of a bukkake before. <laughs> I found it very educational, very informational. <laughs> and uh, I think this guy's cute. Oh, look at that. Thank you for being a friend. I think she wants to travel down the road and back again. <laughs> Step away from the talent. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so Mother! You've been doing it a year all here in uh, San Francisco? Yeah. What part hey, of town do you live in? I live in Oakland. Oh, Oakland. That's, a, uh, that's considered the tough side of San Francisco. <laughs> the a nice city to the rest of America, but the tough part of San Francisco. Right. <laughs> uh, it's the Florida of California. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, so we just I figured out Florida. what a bukkake is, and uh, you wrote a joke about it, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's, uh, the funny thing about your bukkake joke is, like Brian said, it's been covered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, See you that? got balls, though. You right. do have balls. Thank yeah. you. I, By covered, like, are you thinking of a specific... No, the joke's funny because it's been since again since people have known about bukkakes for like I don't know fifteen years or so. Like Just people, found out people have talked about what it would be like to be the last guy, and, and it's but it's funny. I was making a joke because uh, it's covered like a girl in a bukkake video. It's been covered. I I can't wait to hear this guy's jokes on airplane food. <laughs> uh, Are black people and white people different? What's dating like? Okay, that's enough. You're really attacking him. <laughs> Sorry, Come my on. daughter's being a. We buffoon. got a black president. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, B. Arthur? You seem dumbfounded by uh, something. Brian just took a drink of beer and spilled it all over his shirt. Did not notice at all. Oh, wow. I don't. Oh. That is, he is completely covered in beer. Uh, chest hair? That's not it beer. It just soaks in. 
There he goes. Becomes go. a gummy bear later. Hey, why don't wow. we s- why don't we switch that to apple juice, honey? Why don't we? Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. You too. Very good. All right. Uh, <coughs> wow. So, uh, Connor, anything interesting about you and your life? You've seen the show before, right? Yeah, I've been here. So, what's like? What do you year. what do you think? Something that you could tell us about you that'll win you over with this crowd? A life story or something interesting? Fun fact about you? Um. Not much. I, I deliver weed for a living. Yeah, uh. you're right. Anything else other than that? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a musician. Yeah, what kind of music do you play? Uh, rock and roll. <laughs> rock and roll, wow. How, what, what instrument do you play? Drums. You get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. How long, how long have you played the drums for? Um, like 14 years. Oh, no, no. I don't practice that much. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, how long? Like 13, 14 years. Jesus fucking Christ. Then I guess we have to do it. Uh, every once in a while, something magical happens where we find someone that knows how to play the drums, and, uh, and it's always exciting. And do you know the situation? You know about what a Mexican drum off is? I do. For those of you that don't know in the audience, there is an opportunity here for Connor to become the new drummer of Kill Tony. Uh, he would replace Strolberg Joel Jimenez. This would be, as with all Mexican drum offs, an immediate effect. Uh, he would be the drummer for the band uh, for the two shows sold out here tomorrow night for the uh, remainder of the show. And you'd be going to Australia with us this Wednesday. This is a really big deal. Now, you guys get to decide in the end who wins. Uh, this is based on drumming, technique, ability, uh, comedic performance, overall showmanship, you know, everything. You guys are the deciders. It's Kill Tony Mania. I will warn you all, Joelberg has never been defeated before in Mexican drum ops. He's undefeated all time. Defended his throne just last night uh, in uh, Sacramento. But here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time ever, Connor Lonsdale. He's taking off his fanny pack. He just took off his fanny pack. He's sitting behind the drums. Con- Connor, you want uh, talking to that microphone? Can someone help Connor with that mic? Connor, are you are you ready to attempt to become the new drummer of the Kill Tony? I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Connor Lonsdale. Here we go. Oh, oh shit. Wow, Connor Lonsdale, there he is, doing that thing you do. Connor Lonsdale, everybody. That was a good performance, very jazzy, right? I'm surprised he said that he does rock and roll and drums like that, but uh, he gave us a little jazz edition here. Uh, Heck yeah, he's got beats, and he also looks like he eats a lot of beats, too. but let's talk about your opponent for a second. All time undefeated in this competition. Uh, he takes this very seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you here to defend his throne, the one, the only, King of Mexican Drum Offs, Joel Joel Jimenez. Oh my God. Wow. This is frightening. He's wearing stockings. He has a purple giant dildo, the classic purple dildo in his hand that we've seen before. He has a brand new medium-sized white penis coming out of his forehead. This is incredible. We've never seen anything like this before. The guy that just found out about Bukaki's definitely has never seen anything like this before. This is very exciting. Joel's giant cock is basically visible through the stockings. He still has a sock over it but it's still very visible. Are you guys ready to see Joelberg? Defending his throne, undefeated all time, I present to you the Kill Tony drummer, Joelberg Joel Jimenez.
out. It's us. Whoa. He's got a bottle of beer. He's chugging a bottle of beer. <laughs> he's, he's dying on the stage. He's, he's dying. <laughs> he just mooned him. He's just mooned him. He's angry. He's doing the angry unicorn. Oh, my God. Oh, he's laying down. Whoa, reverse somersault. The oh, oh, no. It's the gay seizure. He's doing the gay seizure, everybody. Oh. Drumstick toss. He just lost a tooth, perhaps. I just coughed something up. I don't know what it was. <laughs> there Might was have a, been a Zantac, honestly. A white chunk just came from his lung to finish the job off. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, how many of you have Connor Lonsdale winning this thing right here? Wow, you got <laughs> verbal boos. How many of you have Jolbert Joel Jimenez retaining? Wow. He takes this very seriously. The crowd looks, oh my God, Joel, get off the table. Get off the table, Joel. That is not allowed. We have expensive equipment up here. Wow, all right, there he goes, Connor Lonsdale, everybody. One more time for Connor. Yeah. He almost got hit in the head with a, uh, with a dildo there to finish things off. I knew Joel wasn't gonna lose to a Tony Hawk character. It was unbelievable. Joel, I mean, I see... These it. fucking chumps. <laughs> you take He's this very seriously. It's the best night of that fucking idiot's life. <laughs> How about one more time for Joelberg, huh? <laughs> Putting it all out there. He's got all the energy in the world. He just grabbed his dildos. <laughs> He's so happy right now. Uh, Can I just say I've never seen this side of my mother before? <laughs> I just bukkake that dude. What do you guys think we uh, do a special treat to keep this fucking momentum going, huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a another regular on this show. Uh, he is a very controversial figure in the history of Kill Tony. Uh, this is considered a regular that either you love him or you hate him. There, are, there is nobody down the middle on this guy. Uh, I absolutely love him. I think he's one of the silliest, funniest fucking goofballs in the world. Put your hands together for one of my favorite comedians. It's the great William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is. Live in the flesh. Come on, San Francisco. It's William Montgomery. Let's give it up for Barry Bonds. Let's give it up for Bull House. So, uh, uh, there's gravity in here, right? That is the dice shooting gambler when he ends up in space. <laughs> uh, I've been going uh, to the grocery store with my mom a lot recently, and every time she's like, William, just say hi to people this time. Let's give it up for Alcatraz! Let's give a moment of silence for my uncle Richard Alcatraz. <laughs> he directed movies such as Draws the Revenge and Speed 2. He was a trailblazer. <laughs> he actually got killed on Alcatraz. It was gang related. <laughs> Total nightmare. My mom couldn't deal with the loss. She started taking Zantac. I started taking Zantac. <laughs> Hell yeah, William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Wow, another Zantac thing. Yeah, it is another Zantac thing. Yeah, yeah. Zantac. So hot right now. Are you really going to say that right now? Oh, I mean, I you guys have been getting quite argumentative lately. It almost seems uh, sort of hey. contrived at this Zantac. point. Zantac, hot topic, get it. What's going on with you two? Is there a little rivalry going on? What are you guys doing? The weight gain challenge or no, something? No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I've actually lost weight. Yeah, how'd you lose it, William? What's your plan? What, what's uh, your P90X. diet? P90X. 
Really? You've been doing P90X? I don't know if y'all do P90X. It's a lot of push-ups, a lot of body weight stuff. Yeah? Oh, can you, you mind doing some push-ups for us? How many of you want to see William do some push-ups right now? Whoa! He's actually going to do it! I don't know what's going to happen here, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Before you do these push-ups, do, are, I, uh, Oh, okay. hey, what, what? Wait, 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 wait. They, they all, well, well, no, don't do, what are you, Brian, what are you doing? Brian. I just hit you in the head. No, I just hit you in the head. Brian, <laughs> Brian is, uh, Brian clearly roofied himself tonight, everybody. He threw the bucket with names Let's at William while the crowd wanted to see him do push. <laughs> No, no, I'm not committing anything. Definitely not this asshole. There you go. Fuck yeah, all right. The show will continue now. I don't know. This is some of, uh, some of uh, improv guru uh, magic happening right now. We are watching William do push-ups for the first time ever. Whole crowd's into it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Are we going to count them out with them? Yep. Wow, he's fucking with us. 21, 22, 26, 34, 49, uh, 2, 3. Fuck yeah, William Montgomery, everybody. Oh my god, is there a male nurse anywhere? Ha! How about we have William join the panel, huh? Let's have him be a guest for the uh, next part of the show. Things are getting interesting here. This is a spicy oh, yeah. episode of Kill Tony. What's going, what's going on over here? I think they're trying to decide who's going to be Santa Claus. <laughs> you guys want to go back to the bucket, huh? Just saw William do push-ups. How, how about a hand for the band, everybody? Where's Joelberg? Joelberg, uh, Joelberg getting, <laughs> turning back into Sophia? Her mother had to take a quick nap. All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Let's keep this fun train moving along. Put your hands together for Anthony C. Anthony C. Here we go. You would know. Step back from that fucking ledge. Please step back from Step back from that ledge. One more time for Anthony C, everybody. How's it going? Just moved here from New York. Uh, it's pretty awesome here. I just hate the double standards. For instance, when women sit on pianos, it's sexy. But when pianos sit on women, they're dead. I bought a CB to fuck with the police. Figured I'd screw with their radio. Uh, it was pretty awesome. The trick is that you have to pretend you're a kid, so this way they'll let you not go to prison. <laughs> I did that, uh, and it worked, but they started flirting with me. Uh, I'm a literal person. Uh, my girlfriend, when she gives me head, uh, I sing the cranberries. It's in your head. <laughs> Beyonce. Remember when she sang those lyrics? Uh, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. <laughs> this is why I know racism exists. <laughs> because out of all the celebrity chefs, why does it why doesn't she have a fucking TV show? Oh my God. Thank you. Fuck yeah, Anthony C, everybody. There you go. There you go. Wow, that was something. I've always, I've always wondered what Ray Romano would be like with a brain injury. That's great. <laughs> Very good. He looks like Red Band's kid. <laughs> oh, boy. Be careful, he might throw the bucket of names at you. Uh, it's a wild one tonight. Or an iPad. Anthony, welcome to the show. How long have you been doing stand-up for? 
My first day ever. Whoa, uh, yeah. first day yeah. ever. That's so yeah. cool. First day. Yes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like at school? No, I just... <laughs> I got really fucked up for this. Uh, yeah, well, how'd you get fucked up? What'd you do? I did a little weed and uh, some you alcohol. did a little weed? Are you yes. an undercover cop? No. <laughs> <laughs> I did a little weed. How much weed did you do? A lot. <laughs> yeah? I yeah. thought you said a little. No, no. Uh, well, I did a lot. Sorry, yeah. All right. How much is a lot to you? Um, no, I have a pretty high tolerance. I had to really fucking smoke for this shit. Yeah. So, yeah. like, how much did you smoke? Um, so I have like, you know, obviously the oils, the concentrates and the, uh, the joints and, uh, the edibles. So what did you smoke? What did you do tonight? Everything? I, I did it all. Wow. You what talk you like a narc. <laughs> yeah. I have the you thing know. and the highs and the lows <laughs> and, uh, if you want the uppers or the poppers. You know, I have some of the, uh, I have all, all the, uh, you know, all the grade two felonies, uh, <laughs> I have a, has smoked all the misdemeanors, and I ate some of the, uh... I'm What's your ringtone? My ringtone? I don't use ringtones. I use right, vibration. Call it right now. Call your ringtone right now. Call your ringtone what right now. What does that now. mean? <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, uh, so, uh, what do you do for work? I make, uh, space technology. Oh, Wow. Fuck yeah. How long have you been doing Are you sure you do that? Or is that just what you think you do after you do all the drugs you just said that you did? No, I do that. Uh, smart people smoke weed too. Yeah, no, I get it. I get he what the fuck's that food. supposed to mean, you little piece of shit? <laughs> just bomb for 60 seconds and you're saying, I'm stupid? No. All right. I like your style, dude. Uh, so when you're not doing space shit, what do you do for fun? Seem like the kind of guy that put up excitement. Uh, I'm trying to get back into uh, playing music. Yeah, what type of music do you play? Uh, guitar. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been? In, you ever you ever sing or uh, anything uh, like yeah, that? Yeah, I sing. Yeah, too, what do you? Yeah. What type of music do you sing? Um, damn, it's been fucking ten years, man. Oh, it's been ten years. Yeah. Wow, real <laughs> singer you are. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> Classic. It's punk music. Yeah. What's your love life like? You ever fucking... Uh, I have a girlfriend. Whoa. Hell yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I don't think we need to go that loud for anything ever again for the rest of the show's history. Yeah. This guy's an animal. I could tell. I know. Hell yeah. Brian is totally present. Um, so, uh, girlfriend for how long? 12 years? 12 years. How do you keep it romantic in the bedroom? What's your trick? You ever fucking go down her Milky Way or something like Just that? Just like you start off with like a shitty gift. You know, like uh, you start off with one pump and then over the years you add more pumps and then it... <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Are you talking about the... What do you do? You have an inflatable dildo that you use on her or something? You're talking no, about actual like thrusts in and out? You gotta like... You know, suck no, in the you beginning. gotta like. I, I'm I gotta like I'm suck in the beginning, so this way later on I have room to like improve, and then you know it works over. So the you years. started horrible on purpose. Yes, yes. and then yeah. later on I was really good, and you know she's still happy after 12 years. Wow, that's incredible. Or you guys are codependent. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever done in the bedroom with her? You guys ever like eat each other's asses out or anything like that? Um. Yeah, so that's a thing? yes. We fucked at her dad's job. You fucked at her dad's job? Yeah. That was her dad works, up, works on Bukaki <laughs> sets. What's her dad's job? He's a dentist. Oh, fuck yeah. You drilled her, huh? Yeah. I like that. Was it really in the dentist chair? No, 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 no. We, we should have done it in the dentist chair. We yeah. did it on the floor. I don't know what the fuck. You're a it. drug addict. Yeah, 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 I on, think so. On yeah. the floor... <laughs> <laughs> on the floor of the waiting room or right? on the floor of one of the dental rooms <laughs> where all the fucking plaque flies to and everything? Yeah, like the waiting room with the magazines and everything, like right around there. Uh, right. You gave her yeah, the mask. You're like, here, just breathe this in. Did y'all <laughs> yeah. break in? When did <laughs> Nothing better than wiping yourself off with cum with the newest edition of Cosmopolitan magazine. <laughs> <laughs> fucking old dentist waiting room fucking. Would it, at any point, was she like, Next. No, she's the still waiting, there. Waiting yeah. room joke. 
All right. Well, uh, anything else crazy about you that you think we should know, Anthony? You um, ever fucking uh, go frisbee golfing with all your old compact discs or anything I, like that? <laughs> you always ask yeah. for interesting stories. So, uh -huh. okay. um, this lady gave me a baby on the subway, and she said, "I got to pee." <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. It didn't mean to make uh, ruin this joke. I guess it wasn't that interesting. I don't know. I thought. No, you were in the middle of telling a story. Yeah. There's no reason why him saying one thing should have oh, thrown I don't you know. off. Uh, she ahead. gave me a she baby. Gave you, she, you got a fucking baby on the subway, and yeah, then she, she said, "I got to pee," and it was on the subway, and there's no fucking bathroom. So I don't know if she was abandoning the baby or something. I, don't, I have no idea what was going on. Oh, wow. Uh, wow, there really wasn't an ending to that story. <laughs> so what did you do after she gave you the baby? Yeah, did you raise the child? What's going <laughs> on with this <laughs> yeah, thing? I, mean, I thought I was going to be a father for a second, but like you know, I assumed she was going to pop a squat, or uh, I don't know what was going to happen. <laughs> Did, did, but, you start, uh, did you start off bad with the baby, too? Like yeah, at first you just held it for a little bit. And then there goes Anthony C, everybody. Right, Anthony thank C. You. One more time for Anthony C. It's adorable. Very cute. How many of you are having fun out there on this late edition of Kill Tony Mania Friday night? Okay. Your next comedian goes by the name of Nikos Crowley. Here we go. Nikos Crowley is making his way to the stage. Nikos Crowley, here he comes. Come on guys, make some noise one more time Hello. for Nikos Crowley. Hello, thank you. Uh, I bought some Girl Scout cookies recently. It's one of my coworkers who doesn't understand boundaries. And uh, I noticed that they changed the name of Samoa's. Caramel Delights, I guess, in an effort to be more <laughs> progressive. I do agree that Caramel Delights is a much more progressive and also sexy name for a Polynesian. <laughs> Caramel Delight is actually my aunt's nickname for The Rock, so she was considered well ahead of her time. <laughs> Columbus Day just happened. We're part Italian, so every year around Columbus Day, my dad will go on this big rant about how Columbus wasn't Spanish, he was really Italian. He's like, don't believe what you read growing up. Columbus wasn't Spanish, he was really Italian. That's how behind the times my dad is. He thinks people are trying to take credit for the shit that Columbus did when he got here. <laughs> I just hit him down like, dad, that might have been a point of pride when you were growing up. Now he's kind of considered a genocidal maniac, so <laughs> maybe let the Spanish take credit. <laughs> Want to do something for the Italians? Start a room that Joe Paterno was Puerto Rican. There's some more that you could be doing. <laughs> Nikos Crowley, wow. Smart, funny, well-paced, timing, execution. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, we'll say four years, Tony. Why would you say four years? Because you've been doing it for seven, you took a one-year break? Yeah, hiatuses. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you do for work? I work for an insurance company. Oh, really? My goodness, look at you. Yeah, it's hot stuff. One of the big ones? Uh, yeah, one yeah, of the that's ones. cool. So you're pretty successful. Like, I mean, you're pretty set off. Got a nice little house out in uh, fucking. Can uh, afford to survive in the Bay Area, pretty um, much. The Castro it's District, uh, just fucking yeah. kicking it. Yeah. I don't know. What part of town do you live in? Uh, I live in the East Bay. East Bay. Oakland. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. I love it. Daily City or something like that, right? No, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> it's the opposite side. Uh, that's fun. Palo Alto. What do you do for work? I feel like being an insurance guy, you must have some extreme secret, like, other double life, right? Some guy that just fucking wraps himself up in latex, puts a ball gag in your mouth, and just shoves, falls on stuff uh, with your butthole. Am I close to right about that? I, I am an acquaintance with Paul Giamatti, but, um... Yeah, where'd you meet Paul Giamatti at? On the set of Billions. Wow. Um, is that true? Yeah, I can't say anymore. Oh. Uh, non disclosed. Man, I wish you wouldn't have started now. Sorry, I'm really, my uh, bad. It's a real cliffhanger. There's a lot of rubbing going on. There's another on, movie that Paul Giamatti's in. No, I'm kidding, it's not. 
All right, so Nikos Crowley, tell us uh, tell us more interesting stuff about you, fun facts about you. You ever um, win a spelling bee or anything like that? Yeah, <laughs> it looks it looks like uh, I'm moving to L. A. in a couple of months. So Why? Oh, yeah, cool. I'm gonna try to hit up Kill Tony as much as I can Monday night at the comedy uh, store, right? Yeah, no, oh, I love that. That's yeah. interesting. Paul His put a finger in you. Paul? Did yeah. Paul GM? Uh, but Brian is taking the opportunity to ask if Paul GM. I mean, off the record, in. it's not totally off the record. Did that happen? Yeah, this did is off the air. Like, I Still, did pa Paul put a finger? In has this? anyone ever told you that you look like the three Hangover cast members that aren't Zach Galifianakis <laughs> smushed together? That's what I think. Which would that be, Bradley Cooper? Uh, that's a, that's I'll that, take that, it. That, I'll that, start that, with that one. I, I guess so. That's a, that would be one of the three. Ed Helms, honey. Yeah, uh, yeah you have to name the other th the two as well. Uh, not Galifianakis. You have a wife. Yes. How long yeah. you been married for? Uh, got married in August. Wow, kids. Leo. Mm. No. Kid, kid, kid on the way. Yeah. You knock her up yet? You start blasting loads inside of her. Gonna give, give it, it a the shot. old fucking nerd pie. Gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. Yeah. Have you been trying lately? No, but I was thinking we should try recently just because yeah. I was horny. Right. But <laughs> Heck yeah. And that's how you were born, sweetie. So you don't, you don't finish inside of her? Where do you normally uh, shoot your load when you pull no, out? No, right inside. Oh, right inside. inside every time. Yeah, we just got to figure out when you're going to stop the, 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 pill. the defense. Yeah. Right, exactly. But you're just shooting loads like a madman, shooting your shot. I feel like you're really good at like making paper balls into trash cans. Am I right about that? Okie dokie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> any other fun hobbies that you partake in? Uh, sailing. Oh. Wow. I can oh, picture that. Yeah. Sailor, huh? How long have you been sailing for? My whole life. Sailed from uh, Newport, Rhode Island to Bermuda. Whoa. Was, yeah. Look at you. You come from money then, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Right. Look at like you. <laughs> That's incredible. I sail. Yeah. So your it's father's like, a sailor as well? Yeah. It took like his boat took like four days probably. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's a yacht, not really a boat. It's a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, was. It, it drives itself. I just. Yeah. <laughs> there was an autopilot. Yeah. You blow him down. David. Yeah. Uh, David Lucas, what do you think about this guy? What do you see when you look at a guy like this? He looks like everything you said. Sails. His girlfriend looks, he looked like his girlfriend don't have to work, wife, whatever she is. William Montgomery is a comedy veteran. You uh, have any Richard, advice? basically, I'm a, uh, a comic coach. What I tell my pupils, <laughs> if you ever get in front of a microphone, uh, mention maybe your uncle, maybe your cousin Taylor, mention maybe Lyme's disease, mention Legionnaire's disease, mention diverticulitis, Make up a fake story about a guy named Richard Alcatraz. Make up fake That's movies good. that he directed. Hey, William, you said this same Red Band, thing you want to stop? last episode. Like, you're, like, repeating yourself he on knows. the episode about what, what to that's say. That's why it's funny, though, Brian. You get no, that? it's not funny. No, yeah, it's it not, is. How many of you guys think it's funny? We all... There you go. Hey, oh, <laughs> hey, who here has internet? There you go. Yes, everybody has Oh, wow, well, get internet. It's great. There you go. <laughs> Brian. Red Man, that was a pretty good one. <laughs> no, no, You're no, all no. helping him. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Slam the mic as hard as you can. That's always great for everybody. Oh, there yeah. you go. I have to fix it later. It's, it's <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. Honey, uh, we know it's not being fixed Anything later. else we need to know about you, Nikos, before we move on? No. Um, I saw you guys in Boston. Happy to be here in uh, San Francisco and see you in L.A. Hell yeah, man. Well, good to see you, yeah, dude. Thanks yeah. for signing up. Nico's Thank Crowley, you. great set, dude. <laughs> Fucking great set. Hell yeah. Absolutely. There you go. Back from, step back from the web, my man. You guys want to do something fun again? All right. We have a golden ticket winner uh, that is from another part of this country. He's never even uh, performed in San Francisco, uh, I don't think so, before. He made the drive to L.A. and then came up uh, with everybody else today on a special trip. Um, put your hands together for him. Golden ticket winner from Phoenix, Arizona, ladies and gentlemen. It's Tristan Bowling. Cops Comedy Club, how we doing, huh? Yeah! 
Oh man, let's keep it going for me. I got out of the psych ward recently. Goddamn right, bro. Turns out suicide is a pass-fail class, you know? You either do that shit or you don't, player. Like, <laughs> detention sucks a dick, dude. It sucks, man. I was in there for five minutes. My roommate, Rakish, turns out he was hearing voices in his head, and all the voices wanted to fuck me, which <laughs> technically I'm outvoted, you know? <laughs> like, he's doing it for the good of the group. Like, he's got homies in the dome. Like, that's democracy right there. Dude, it was, I, I don't think anyone should kill themselves and if you're gonna, no good, but hear me out. Um, right before you do it, right before you milly wop into the next plane of existence, right before, right before you go, just scream, this is for everyone's sins. <laughs> just in case it works, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you, my Fuck name's Tristan Bowling. yes, Bowling. Tristan Bowling. Doing it again, and again, and again, and again. This is a guy that won his golden ticket at the age of 20, turned 21 the next day, cashed in at the comedy store the day after that, and uh, he's come back multiple times since. Uh, this week, I last minute invited him here, and he fucking made it. Goddamn yeah. right, on Mama's Dime. Hell Give it yeah. up for her. Absolutely, ah. 100%. Ah. Fuck her credit score, you know what I mean? Heck yeah. Absolutely, the elephant of what? max volume there. <laughs> That is the loudest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, it's incredible. Don't tempt him when you do things like that. He wants to do it again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, you have uh, always killed on this show. You're just filled with fun stuff. Oh, sure. um, Thank you, Tim. And uh, one of the fun things that we found out about you right before you won the golden ticket, the first time I ever saw you in Phoenix, Arizona, is that um, you have an amazing ability for being able to rap. You guys like rap music at all? <laughs> uh, this pasty white son of a bitch, yeah. And I do believe that uh, you are willing to freestyle something for these people here at Kill Tony Mania right now, if that's right. I don't, I don't got a freestyle, but I wrote something on the car ride to San oh, Francisco. Oh, you actually wrote I something wrote, special wrote, wrote, for you guys. Is I it okay if he tries it out in front of you live we here? Gotta, we gotta, you got the beat? You got the beat? Yeah, he's got it. Think he's ready to go? Right. Oh, there it is. I want something from you guys. Can you get something for me? Can we get a uh 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 kill Tony uh kill Tony uh kill I like Tony uh kill uh Tony uh kill Tony uh kill Tony uh kill let's get it. Kill, uh, Tony, eh? Kill Tony, mania, I wonder where we be. Gonna fuck up this city like the homeless on the street. Red van on the board, holding down the fort. Tony with the torch, burning down the hordes. Comics on their knees, uh, heat, uh, no other bank can compete, uh, Christian with the chrome of the heat, uh, Jeremiah, the leader of the sax in the back of the bank of the beat. Jawbird, Christian on the street, uh, no other band can compete, uh, best band, band in the street. What, uh, kill Tony, what, uh, Kill Tony, what up? Kill Tony, what up? Kill! Fuck yeah, man. Tristan Bowling. I love your fucking style, yeah, man. David, fun. you ever seen anything like Tristan before? Look at this guy. He looks like he's getting ready to paint a library or something. <laughs> Some Super Mario Brothers shit right there. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to paint a Supreme store. You know what I mean? <laughs> Your shoes look like they're having an allergic reaction. That bitch, <laughs> is, that bitch is big as fuck. Yeah, I'm just, I'm at like size 12 and a half. I just got dumb duck God feet. damn. Yeah. Your feet might be wider than mine, bro. Yeah, dog. My feet are webbed, too. It's crazy. Two toes. Oh, shit. Tristan, really? I feel like you're the only dude that Ellen would let eat her pussy. <laughs> Like That's a credit. That's a credit. <laughs> how many Wait. people have done stand up on their show, and how many times has someone been in that box? You know do what you, I mean? Do you really have webbed feet? Yeah, I have two webbed toes on both feet. Is that true? Yeah. I've never seen it. You want to see it? Like, would you mind? Why, why, why you would we seen have webbed feet before? Oh, wow. Uh, uh, webbed feet. Webbed feet. Webbed feet. Webbed feet. Do you Wait, see it? Where's the web? It's right there! Whoa, what the fuck, man? Yeah! That's you see it? It's fucking weird, isn't it? Jeremiah, put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth, <laughs> Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah. Jeremiah! Oh, he's going to do it. Jeremiah! 
No, he's not going to. I'm kidding. I was kidding, guys. I was joking. Tristan, get up. We can make so many people come on the internet. How many guys? Uh, how about one more time for Tristan, everybody? And uh, how about one more time for David Lucas? Tristan's going to step in and join panel for the first time ever in his career, guys. Golden ticket winner Tristan is in. David Lucas gets to go sip on Hennessy. <laughs> William, come on, sit here. Yeah. Sure. Sit right there. Yeah. Fuck yeah. The great William Montgomery scooting down. I am still not. out of breath from my 50 push ups I did. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know it. who breathed more. How about one more time? Good and love for David Lucas, everybody. There he goes. So much fun. <laughs> We're having fun here. Back to the bucket we go. Let's meet, let's meet a new person here. Let's see what kind of crazy shit can go on. Put your hands together for Ernest Evangelista, ladies and gentlemen. Here it ha goes. Where's Ernest Evangelista? Is there movement? Anybody see movement? Oh no, there's no Ernest Evangelista? Oh. Nah, I don't think so. We're gonna keep moving. Well, I don't think so. Nope. We're gonna keep moving along. Put your hands together for Ashton Tate. Oh, wow, two episodes in a row for Ashton Tate. This guy had the set of the night on the last uh, show. Let's see what happens here. Another brand new minute from Ashton Tate. Hey, One more uh, time for Ashton uh, Tate, everybody. Thank you. <clears throat> I think it's weird how a lot of girls uh, say they enjoy long walks on the beach, yet they never ask out those guys with metal detectors. <laughs> yeah. Pretty weird. Uh, my mom drank when she was pregnant with me, so when I was born, my face had a Sharpie dick on it. When I was a kid, I liked playing Grand Theft Auto, tried playing it recently as an adult, and uh, I was like, these cops are kind of just doing their job, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pretty violent game. Have you guys ever noticed that whenever something violent in the news happens, like a shooting, uh, they'll blame it on the way we make guns seem cool in male action movies? I think that's why we need more female action movies. So instead of a guy walking up and being like, go ahead, make my day. It's more like, hold up, let me tell you about my day. I think <laughs> it'll be good. All there right, you thank go. you very much. Ashton Tate. Wow. Yeah. wow. So your Twitter is really Michael Moore Food, just Michael M-O-R-E Food? Yeah, Michael Moore Food. I want to make sure we get that out there loud and clear because yeah. you've had two great uh, appearances back to back in a row. Oh, the, yeah, I think you're the only person in the history to get pulled out of the bucket uh, every <laughs> yeah. episode of a Kill Tony Mania night. That's exciting. Yep. Look at you. How many of you were at the first show and saw Ashton? That's a good amount. Cool. So here you are. You yeah, did it again. I used to. I know. I talked about. It, I used to live here. Uh huh. And uh, I don't know if people here know this, but if you live here long enough, you actually end up learning Mandarin. Yeah, can it's you get, true. Can you, can you it's true. Cause uh, I went to China recently, and I was somehow able to go up to anyone and ask if they were done with their cans. That's, good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real San Fran. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. That's a real San Fran joke, huh? Yep. It's very impressive. Mm. Wow, Ashton, is there anything else we didn't find out about you from that last interview uh, about an hour and a half ago? Um, my girlfriend broke her phone recently. Yeah. And uh, so I, like, put her chip into my phone. Uh -huh. And then um, I didn't delete all the contacts. And uh, one of the contacts was just the name, the girl who wouldn't do anything. Ah. And she found it. Ah. So that, that was interesting. But we can move on. <laughs> yeah, that. I love it, man. You yeah. absolutely killed again. You're Michael Moore food with the Moore spelled M-O-R-E, all one word. I yep. want to make sure the listeners are able to find you. That's just on Twitter. You want anything else? And anything else you want to plug? And Instagram at Michael yeah. Moore food? No, just Ashton Tater. Ashton Tater, all yep. one word. Yep. There you go. He killed twice Thank tonight. Thank you. Bye. That's two episodes in a row of Ashton Tate. Amazing stuff. Killing it. In and out. <laughs>
fuck yeah. Right. I, I thought he looked like all the members of Workaholics had a baby. <laughs> he does. He does. I guess I should have checked in with you guys on that. I love that. You said Theo Vaughn with no attitude? No. I don't really. God. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Theo needs a van. What an interesting move to come all the way to San Francisco to start burning bridges. Uh, <laughs> it's so fitting. It's a lot of bridges. Okie dokie. Put your hands together for your next comedian. Dave Brassoud. Brassard? Brassoud, it says. It says Brassoud. Dave Brassard. Brassoud. Here he comes. Come on, guys, one more time. Good and loud for Dave Brassoud. Here we go. Heck yeah, Brassoud. Nailed it. I actually pronounced my name right. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much. I know you guys are looking at me. I don't look cool. I get that. I'm an old guy. I used to be cool when I was young, though. And that slips out around my kids sometimes. First time it slipped out, I was helping my youngest daughter with her math homework. The older one's helping me cook. The younger one's converting fractions. She goes, Dad, I don't get this. I said, what's the question? She goes, what's an eighth convert to? And without even thinking about it, I'm like, three and a half grams. <laughs> she goes, what? I'm like, I don't know, 50 bucks. <laughs> 300 if it's white. That's when I hear this, what are you talking about? And I look up and I see the look on her face. I'm like, uh-oh, I messed up. <laughs> so I start backpedaling. I got to get out of this because I don't want to get in trouble from their mother, right? So I'm like, oh, honey, isn't this a word problem? She goes, no, it's sixth grade math. I'm like, well, there's the problem. I'm teaching you math you're not going to use till high school and college. Wow. I'm just mesmerized. Fucking killing me. This is one of those magical moments where... Something that I did not expect to happen. I'm in complete dominance up here. Have you been doing stand-up comedy a long time? Uh, about nine years now. Nine years. Oh, I mean, even for nine years, that's still very impressive, man. I mean, mind-boggling. You really had the room eating out of the palm of your hand. You have this such, like, hearty, uh, regular, normal, everyday guy, like guy you'd run into, uh, you know, coming into a Home Depot or something like that. And then you just come in guns a blazing with fucking real jokes. You really know what you're doing. Nine Thank years, you. huh? Yeah, three. The last three, real serious. Yeah, yeah. You work in construction? No, no. I I, <laughs> I actually used to be a paramedic on a rescue team. Whoa, yeah. paramedic! I went to school at UCSF right here. Oh, yeah. kill yeah. Tony saves lives. Yeah, that's it. UCSF. You have a secret. That's the University of what? San Francisco. Oh, it's just UC. What's the C? California. Oh, okay. University of California, San Francisco. I love you guys are laughing like I'm supposed to know that. Oh, you don't know no U C S. Like UCLA. Yeah, but that's fucking UCLA, you idiots. That's a whole different thing. UCLA is an actual college, nationally respected. Yeah, yeah. And to be honest with you. People where we're from don't respect any of these colleges because we are from the Ohio State University. You're goddamn right, you fucking bozos. See if I buy tickets to your show, you morons. Anyway, uh... Go fuck ahead, Buckeye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what's your story, man? You single, married? You have a yeah, family? Yeah, wh wh what's going on with you? Uh, oh, yeah, fucking, you got uh, Dorothy's into you over there. You, d you do seem like the type Dorothy would take home, but you'd end up fucking Blanche, right? Uh, yeah. Well, let's just say you've got three and a half grams right here. <laughs> oh! Hey! Wow. Wow. God damn and with it. that stroke, Jesse Johnson does more for females in comedy than any female comedian ever with one single joke. Unbelievable. Three and a half grams after that fucking opening joke. That plays along. I'm voting for her. That makes complete sense. 
My goodness. So what's your sort of the, the, the if we were going to do a fast track, a fucking 15 second super breakdown of your life? I feel like you've seen a lot. You've been through a lot. What are some of the highlights? Uh, a couple years ago, I got a really bad accident. I was left partially deaf and uh, had a shoulder replacement. And my daughter and I, as part of the recovery, swam from Alcatraz to shore. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what? The fuck? You yeah. swam from Alcatraz to... Mile and a half from Alcatraz to Aquatic Park. You and your daughter both did? Yeah, my daughter and I both did. You guys swam together? Yes. Because there was an accident? No. Well, no. Yeah, no, I, I was in the accident. And part of the recovery, the doctor said swimming would be good for the recovery. My daughter was a high school swimmer. Oh, so I said, okay, I see. Oh, my God. I thought uh. something happened to you on the island of Alcatraz and you had to swim to fucking shore. <laughs> My brain almost poured out of the side of my skull. Um, yeah, me and Nicolas Cage took off and we left, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking cool, man. So how long did it take you to recover before you did the swim? Um, 14 months after the shoulder and eight months after the hip replacement. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes, absolutely. That makes complete sense. Uh, fuck yeah. What do you do for fun now? Stand up comedy. Yeah. yeah. Other than other than stand up, right? There must be you seem like the kind of guy that goes bowling with a uh, your own bowl. <laughs> you have your own bowling ball? You no, see I that? like the barbecue, man. <laughs> yeah, I like, like that. That means he's voting for Trump, people. <laughs> no, fuck no. Fuck uh, no. I'm just kidding. I like Johnson, but Johnson didn't know his elbow from Aleppo, so that kind of fucked everything up oh, right there. Oh shit. This guy knows his politics over here. What do you guys uh what do you guys have for uh, Dave Brasud? I was gonna see he, he, uh, What? What's going on out there? I, th I think they thought you were asking them. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, what do you do? You do any sort of? Because you seem. Uh, let me get back into my voice. Up. Uh, you seem pretty fit for an old guy. Uh, do you do any sort of exercise? Yeah, yeah, he swims from Alcatraz to the fucking. Yeah, but that was one time. Do, no, do you, have kidding. you continued yes. it since then? You swim a lot, right? You have to train for something like I, that. I did that. I'm done with that. I work out in the gym now. Um, just trying to, just just trying to not to get really old too fast. You know. I that's love it. it. I love it, absolutely. Uh, Tristan, what do you think of this guy? This looks like he, he could be your uh, father or stepfather. Dude, I'm just mad we're wearing the same fucking shoes right now in different colorways. Whoa. He's got the Air Monarchs on. And so do you know how many times I've seen old white men who barbecue wearing the same shoes as me? <laughs> it's insane. I'm setting a good example for us right now. That's, cause they, that's because Nikes have been on sale ever since Kaepernick, so it's okay. Oh. Hey. I was born in 98. I got Fuck my yeah. GED. I didn't even know the college reference. All right. Well, I mean, Dave, you had an unbelievable setup here. Very fucking impressive. I mean, so, 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 so fucking rock solid, man. I mean, you should be really, really proud of yourself. And uh, that was fucking awesome, man. You ever, uh, you ever go down to Los Angeles? Yeah, I was just, uh, I, I just came back from doing shows in Las Vegas and, and Mesquite and you. How about uh, L.A.? You ever go to L.A.? Well, no, I was in L.A. on the way back. Yeah, what'd you do when you were in L.A.? I uh, did a show with Sebastian Satina. Uh, where'd you do that at? I, I don't know. Where, you don't even know at? the name of the place? Oh, the, if, other, the other Sebastian. Next time, next time you come down to L.A., if you're ever there, there on a Monday, we'll give you a minute uh, at the comedy store in Los Angeles. How about that? Yeah! Do a different minute. Come on down. How about one more time as loud as it gets for Dave Brasud, huh? This guy's fucking doing it, man. That's the real deal right there. And speaking of cold-blooded assassins, uh, so speaking of cold-blooded assassins that we just discovered, uh, two nights ago in Sacramento, we found a young lady that... Uh, that has been doing this for, uh, for I think, nine years. And she did so fucking great on the first night she got pulled out of the bucket that I invited her back the second night. And she did so fucking good last night in Sacramento that we invited her here tonight. So if it's okay with you guys, we're about to see the third ever set, three episodes of Kill Tony. Well, not the la last one, but I guess. Three nights in a row, ladies and gentlemen, Bridget Bennett. Here she is, everybody! <laughs> uh, 
Um, I got stuck at a casino up in Oregon due to snow. And my mom had warned me. She was like, why don't you check the weather report? And I, there wasn't any rooms left in the hotel. So I stuck at the casino for like 24 hours before I could pass. Like they had shut down the road in both directions. Anyway, I went into the bar to kill some time. And I was sitting with a bunch of truckers. Because if you find yourself at a casino in the middle of the night, it's all men. And this lady came to, up to me. And she's like, I'm going to kick your ass. And she was one of those California blondes. And she's like, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. And she reaches her hand up to like she's going to punch me. And I'm like, why are you going to punch me? And she's like, because you're drinking when you're pregnant. <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, no, I'm just fat. <laughs> and then this guy gets up and she's about to hit me again and he's like nobody hits my lady except for me all right that's it fuck yes that sounds like a true story right there bridget bennett yeah it's a true story tony i mean it is true uh when i first uh the first time i saw you two nights ago the very first thing i said after you were done with your set was holy shit that was unbelievable one more time for her and uh wow i can't believe how funny you are you're pregnant and you're like no i'm not <laughs> but i was positive that you were and uh i mean it was uncomfortable for everybody else honestly i didn't feel bad for it at all because it, it it's it, super uncomfortable for me but it's is it really yeah. wow okay <laughs> now i'm ridiculously yeah. uncomfortable i drew a picture of how uncomfortable i was brian's yeah. gonna save this awkward moment for us uh <laughs> For sure. No, I drew a picture. Knows, it's all drew a horrible. picture. Just keep repeating it. It gets better every time. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Bridget, but that is something. Has have you dealt with something like that your whole life? You, is it hard for you to talk about? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Um, no, I used to be really skinny. I just got fat like a year ago. <laughs> like no, a year ago? Yeah. Yeah. Really? What happened? What do you think? How, what, how, what? What ended up? Uh, Getting older, I guess. I don't know. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Metabolism oh. just crashes, huh? Yeah. Uh, wait, wait till you hit sixty. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's a snake in this girl's bed. I think she's uh, one Montgomery here. There you go. Have some more. Have some more Jack and Diet there, Brian. <laughs> just fucking anything but talking yeah, I mean, into the microphone. No, don't. Don't <laughs> think about it. Okie dokie. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Bridget Bennett. Bridget, is there anything crazy about your life that we haven't found out about you yet in these last two nights of interviews? Um, I like to sell. S I like to go to garage sales. That's the thing I like to do. I like to buy other people's stuff and resell it. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone that looks like you at a garage sale. <laughs> I was yeah. gonna. I was gonna she, ask. She yeah. looks like if a garage sale was a person. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, she does. Something like that. She what? sort of looks like weird Allison Yankovic or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> She can handle it. She's a fucking professional Doesn't comedian. Doesn't she look like William and I's mom? <laughs> she looks when like... Looks that's like, a weird reference. What do you mean? Like you combined. Aquem and I's mom? No, I said William and I's. Oh, okay, yeah. Who's Aquem and I? <laughs> I don't Shout know. out to Outcast. It's an Outcast yeah, record. I so you it's fucking young outcast. son of a bitch. Now, oh, William, yeah, William, you have uh, recently been falling in love with girls uh, for the first time in your life. This is something that's come up. And uh, is there any truth to the rumor that there is some chemistry going on between you and uh, Bridget Bennett? Yeah, I mean, tonight I feel like at the Airbnb we will end up poisoning Red Band. He's really oh, you're messed this show up tonight. No, no, no. We're well, going to end up down I don't want to be involved in a political plot. In that was good. In San Francisco. Can you say that again? I don't want to be involved in a I political plot. I feel really plot. good. Yeah. Bridget, what do you do for fun when you're not doing stand-up comedy? Um, I do improv, I shoot guns, I do garage sailing. <laughs> Wait, what? I drive people around that are intoxicated. Really? Oh, yeah. we're, we're going to need you later. We're going to need you later tonight with, uh, for a call for Brian Redband. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, what happened? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Brian is out of it. I, I love this. At. This is I great. I hear what Jeremiah said. <laughs> Dorothy. I love it. Wow. So, how long have you been Jesse Johnson from the future? 
<laughs> like a couple of That's years. That's accurate. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Swing for the bushes. If, it, Mom, if, it, if, any, if anything, she looks like Dave Grohl clean shaven. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. If you guys at any point want to keep doing jokes while I try to keep the entire tra train on the tracks, I'd appreciate that. You can just feel free to keep up. No, I'm just kidding. You Bridget, you are an amazing uh, spirit and soul. I absolutely love your uh, style. Tonight you did a specific like story-like joke that had you know, 58 seconds of build up and then two seconds of smash at the end. But uh, the other sets so. that you had were more, you know what I mean? Joke, 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 yeah. joke, joke, joke. I think. Uh, I wanted to try something new. No, it's cool. That's yeah. fun. It's fun to get a variation. And I hope that uh, we get to see you again soon on the show. How about one more time for Bridget Bennett, everybody? Thank you very much. All right, you guys having fun out there, huh? <laughs> feels like it. It feels real good in here. Your next comedian will be Matt Watt. M-A-T-T-W-A-T-T. -T -T -T. Matt Watt. People seem to be very excited. There's people jumping in the back. Matt Watt is walking to the stage. Here he comes. Matt Watt, everybody, anything can happen. It's Kill Tony Mania. He's got a backpack. Matt Watt. All right, how's it going, Cobbs? I think it's weird when people know too many dog breeds. It's like, I don't even know all the races yet. I just found out what an Aborigines is. Aboriginal. Nah, whatever. And don't get me started on these Inuits. <laughs> it's Eskimos. <laughs> All right, moving it along. Uh, <laughs> anybody smoke weed? You guys weed smokers? <laughs> you know what's the best thing about being known as like the weed guy? That uh, nobody can tell you've been crying all day. <laughs> yeah, I didn't just listen to Usher on the way over here and bawl my eyes out. <laughs> <sighs> I wish that was a joke. <laughs> uh, I, I was at a friend's house the other day, and uh, uh, sure, finish it. And he had a, a ecstasy tablet on the table, just chilling there. And I was like, "Hey, can I have that?" And he was like, "Sure, but it's strong." And I was like, uh, "Yeah, you said that about the last ones. I took like four of those." He was like, "What?" He was like, "Man, something's wrong with you." And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Oh my God, I mean, dude, what the fuck? It's a, what, what are you thinking? Then what, then what happens? I said, yeah, I'm sad. Whoa. <laughs> my God. You had the closer right within reach. You had 56 seconds of thunder. You threw a little 20 second, second janker in were, there. Were any of you guys as terrified as me that he was going to pull a gun out of that backpack? <laughs> I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if you know this, Sophia, but he's still on the stage. Uh, he still could easily pull the gun out of the backpack. Oh, there it is. You have so much shit on you. Uh, you have a backpack. Your front pocket of this jacket is absolutely filled with shit. What's going on here, dude? Is this it? Did you backpack here from fucking obscurity? Well, well the last time I took my backpack off here, I got fired. Fired from? From here. You worked here? Yes. And you took off your backpack and got fired how? Somebody stole weed out of my backpack and I kind of flipped out and lost my shit. Oh. So you were here, you took your backpack off, someone stole your weed, you freaked out, like, who the fuck stole my fucking weed? And the boss yes. was like, dude, you're fired. And that was after I punched a hole in the wall downstairs. Oh, uh, wow. How do you punch a hole in a wall at a hole in a wall? Anyway. <laughs> I thought this was Cobbs, not the punchline. Uh, how punchline. How bad's your parents? Do you have bad parents? Uh, yeah, <laughs> my dad way. was a drug addict for the first half of my childhood. He was on Cops. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. You got a yeah. credit. <laughs> yeah. Get him on Life PD, let's talk. <laughs> yeah. Did he leave you that backpack? No, I just bought this. Is your father still in prison? or? No, he's actually doing good now. That's good. How about yeah. you? Are you doing good now? 
I'm all right. What do you do for work now that you got fired from here? Um, I'm a manager at a cannabis oh. delivery service. Oh, that's hey. awesome. Congratulations. That's fun. You always yeah. late with your deliveries? Or are you pretty on time? No, you seem I'm like the earliest person there. Wow. I just got a text that says, your delivery is here now. <laughs> oh, there you go. That explains the backpack. Got you. <laughs> wow. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do after you smoke pot? Eat ice cream. Wow, look at that. They have a lot in common with uh, quite a bit of the people on stage right now. Uh, <laughs> what's your favorite kind of ice cream? Um, ben and Jerry's uh, banana split. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> if Absolutely. you pull a gun out of that backpack, I'm a banana split. Bling, 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 bling. I love it, dude. What's your, uh, what's your love life like? Um, weird. Yeah? yeah? Tell us more about it. What do you mean by weird? Um, ah, oh shit. Shouldn't have said anything. Come on, dude. Look at this, look at this crowd. <laughs> they, they, don't want, they don't want you pussyfooting around. Give us the good shit, dude. What do you mean by weird? Um, kind of like in between girlfriends right now, but... Mm. Yeah? So what, what, what do you mean? What's so weird about that? Sounds like you need a real woman in your life. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's still kind of both of them. Oh, okay. Do they know about each other? No. No? Wow. Are you, is one of them here tonight? Yep. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow. Ooh, wow. <laughs> is this true? Is that what's happening? Uh, are both of them here tonight? No. Oh, I was going to make them fight. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this. Uh... Why would you say that if, uh, <laughs> I mean, I put you under the pressure, huh? I yeah. said all these people don't want you pussyfooting, and you heard me say the old P word. Uh -huh. You're like, pussyfooting? I guess I have to say it. So she's out there right now, and she just found out that you're with someone else as well. I don't think she's here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think she left. I think Does she, she left. do comedy too, the girl you're with? Oh, wow. That's interesting. My goodness. She's actually chopped up in that <gasps> backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Matt Watt. How long have you been with this girl that you're with here tonight? Um, off and on like a year or so. Off and on like a year. My goodness. Consider you guys it off. Yeah. Go ahead. I said consider it off. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> on and off. Definitely going to be more off. You're right. So... Uh, Wow, you think that maybe she'd be open to like a threesome or something? No, okay. Uh, <laughs> how about the other girl? When did you meet the other girl? No, no, we should. Do you, you want to stop talking about this? Okie dokie. Uh, oh my god. Should we find out if the other girl wants to come on stage and slap you in the face right now? Do you think that's fair? You guys think that's fair? Would you do that? Would you take off your glasses and take a slap? If she would come up here, but I don't think she will. If she wants to come up and slap him, feel free right now. Come on. How many of you want to see that? Come on. Let's go. Here she comes. I see her. Yeah. Oh, she's this charging down the front. This is Kill Tony Mania. She's taking her hair out oh, of a bun. Oh, yeah. Take off those glasses, bro. Oh. You fucking get them good, too. Oh. 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 Hell yeah. How about a hand for that bad bitch right there? That's, That's awesome. Right. That's a cool chick right there. Baddest bitch in the room. I love that. You're damn motherfucking right she is. All right, who else wants to come up and slap this guy? <laughs> hey. Yeah. Easy. Oh, shit. All right. Oh! 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 Wow! Old dildo to the face. Well, there you go. I think you got what you deserved, and uh, you know, with confession comes a lot of freedom. Maybe you guys will be uh, even happier and closer after this. Oh my God! Put your hands together for Matt Watt, everybody. There he goes. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Okay. Um, okay, this is chaos in here tonight. You guys would agree. So, uh, again, I'm going to ask one more time. How many of you were here at last year's Kill Tony Mania? Where did we 
Well, if you were, you might remember that there was a guy that absolutely stole the show uh, that night. There was a guy that won an immediate golden ticket. He was the first man and the only man to ever win a golden ticket here in San Francisco. At Mania, it happened last year. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, he's here for you now from Northern California, your very own John Callahan, everybody. A special treat for you. Come on, everybody, get good and loud for John Callahan. He's back. Well, uh, being part of the epileptic community, um, I'm not liking the way that epileptics having seizures are portrayed in uh, movies and stuff. Uh, recently, I was sitting at my friend's house watching a house, and it seems pretty simple. People have seizures, they just kind of fall down and start shaking. And my friend looked at me and he goes, you know, why does your seizure have to be so retarded, you know? Like, <laughs> he's all, why can't it be simple like these people? Like, you just fall over and start shaking. He's just like, he's all, you know, what are you, he's trying to make a statement? If you don't spin twice, it doesn't count? Like, because I mean, he was like, he's all, you gotta do this whole thing where you have to spin like, you know, you're growing retarded and then you piss yourself and then I gotta clean that up. <laughs> And I was just like, I mean, you're the one that chose to try and catch me, and I peed on you by accident. I didn't mean to, so. And then, like, he refers, like, he always wants me to help him, like, lift stuff, and he's like, uh, you're not that strong. The only reason you're, you know, you got that retard strength because you're seizures, so. That's where I get it from, I guess. I don't know. That's what most people think, so. Whatever. There you go. John Callahan, everybody. <laughs> Fuck Yeah. John, am I crazy? It looks like you like ha have like cleaned up your act in the past year. Last year you were like this uh, a grizzly mountain man, missing teeth, all disheveled. I still have the missing teeth. You do? Oh, oh he just took them out. <laughs> he took them out. <laughs> oh my I mean, god! I took out the rest of the top, and then I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get new ones. So. Oh my. That was goodness. the decision. Look at you. I can take out I got my tired teeth of looking too. Like a, you know, well, I mean, being in up north, it's a bunch of crackheads, so. How Most far up north are you? These people probably recognize uh, where you're from. In Red Bluff. I don't Red know Bluff, know wow. Is. Look so, at that. Fuck yes. I, mean, I grew up in Corning, like I said, where it was just a truck stop, basically. You just pass through. So. Wow, yeah. so you don't know what UCSF is either. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I didn't know San thing. Francisco had colleges. Doesn't really make sense to me. I don't really get that. The whole UCSF. <laughs> University so of funny. California, San Francisco. No, University I, no, of California, I, I, Los Angeles. I understand Actually, what it stands the only, for. The only college I, I, mean, I, the only college I've heard of here is the Holy Names. It's because my sister played basketball for them. So. Uh huh. The Holy she Names. Got a full, a full ride. I think it's a Catholic private college. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's one of the fan. It's, it's one of my five brothers and sisters that I, you know. Don't talk to you. So. Oh. Have you thought of getting a haircut because you still have toothless hair? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to grow it out for after. No, no, no. Get week. rid of it. <laughs> yeah, no, I need to probably. Heck yeah, you get it. You get it cut big time. You can end up playing uh, William Montgomery someday in I a, a biopic. <laughs> I was about to say, you guys are wearing the exact same thing: white yeah. shirt, white shirt, khakis. How many? How many push-ups can you do? <laughs> You Not guys want to have a push-up battle? How oh shit! Oh you shit! Do? Oh man, here we go! I've already lost this competition. Unless we're doing it with like. <laughs> All right, how many of you want a push-up battle? I don't know what's happening here, but it's probably going to be a heart attack. Luckily, we have a male nurse and a paramedic here, so I'm not really worried about it. Let's all count together. Here we let's count together. Here we go. One. Nine. Go down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine. William struggling. William stop. Eleven. This Nine. is very good. John uh, You're Callahan your is ass pulling kicked, ahead. William. <laughs> William. That's what. That's. <laughs> that was a mistake. 
It's all good. Heck yeah. This is incredible. Nothing better than watching fat people work out. Uh, <laughs> it's one of my new work. favorite hobbies. I love I don't it. ever work out. After watching that, why would you work out after watching that? No. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> like, there's no motivation. Are you talking? Who are yeah, you talking like, to? if you saw that, like, you know what? I think I should work out. And you see that? Like, no, I'm good. I would just be fine. <laughs> <laughs> why yeah. would I embarrass N- myself? Exactly. No. no, I know. Absolutely. Chroma Chris. No, I was <laughs> just going to say, it looks like uh, the only weight that William's losing is all from his head. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's, it's his hair. Silent. Never mind. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, this one's, uh, we're having a smooth descent here on this episode <laughs> of Kill Tony. It's going to be about another, uh, we're going to be, uh, I do recommend you do keep your seatbelts on. <laughs> Prepare the cabin for landing. Um, so uh, tell us how uh, anything crazy happened in your life this past year since we met you. Uh, I quit Walmart. So Yeah. Yay! So I went from being... From a white trash family to working at a dump. So. Oh wow! What, what what do you mean working at a dump? I sort trash all day. Oh, you re- actually work at a dump? Yes. Sir. Trash sorting I trash. Incredible. At, <laughs> lateral move. Work I with w- what you know. I went from living at a trash dump to working at a trash dump. Right. Is the trash dump that you work at also white trash? Yes. <laughs> okay. There How long go. have you been all the sons of anarchy? A little while now. <laughs> Except for you ride a moped. What's it like working at a, uh, you ever find anything crazy at a trash dump? You ever find like a, a bag of money or anything? Uh, we found money uh, recently. One of the older ladies I work with, she found a sex doll. That's kind of my... Uh, girlfriend? I guess that's the closest thing I got to a girlfriend right now at yeah, home. Yeah, so. I called it. <laughs> you found a sex doll at the dump? Yeah, it was brand new. It was still in the package and stuff. Oh. I just took it home. Shut the fuck up. I have it blown up and sitting, and I dressed it. And now when people walk in, it has a thing so people can Why walk in. Why do you need too. to dress it? Well, yeah, what do you do? Then you undress it when you get home? Like, oh, look at you, you lazy bitch. <laughs> sitting around doing nothing again. <laughs> well, when my niece comes over, I don't want her to be, like, looking at it and stuff. You know? Don't look at Auntie Rubber. Yeah. <laughs> That's good practice for you, though, for when you hook up with an actual dead woman. Yeah. Do he works at a dump. He'll find one eventually. Do you, have, <laughs> do you ever put out uh, cigarettes on the uh, sex doll just for fun and practice? <laughs> good question. Do you ever put cigarettes on the doll? Uh, not yet. Okay. Wow, John, anything else we need to know about you before we let you go? Another fun performance. First ever San Fran Golden Ticket winner. Uh, this is just, uh, I haven't done stand-up since, like, last year. So. Really? <laughs> wow, why is that? Um, I live up north, and there's nothing really to go to, I guess. Chico, but I don't, I'm always busy working instead. So. Wow, well, I mean, dude, you gotta fucking keep it going. You have, you have the, you have a, a, a you were doing it, was, last year wasn't your first time doing stand-up, right? Yeah, it was. It was? Yeah. Wow. Jesus, I just remember you smashing and then smashing through the interview. And now look, this is what taking a year off does. Right, (laughs) yeah. It's a very real thing. All right, well, uh, John Callahan, though, very fun man. You represent well. Congratulations on getting a promotion from Walmart to a trash dump. Thank you. One of the uh, oddest uh, promotions I've ever heard of, but in Red Bluff, that shit happens. What do you guys think? One more time to the bucket, huh? Yeah. It's getting late. Let's do this. Here it is, your final comedian of the night, and he goes by the name of Andrew de Leon. Andrew de Leon. Here we go. Here he comes. He's got a steady jog. He's coming right this way. Here he is, Andrew de Leon, everybody. Absolutely, sure. There you go. Get on over there. What the fuck are you doing? Andrew de Leon. Yeah, fuck yeah. This is my first time headlining a show. Give it up for me. Fuck yeah. Yeah, my grandmother just died. (laughs) True story, dude. My grandmother just died. My family sent me the obituary. Super sweet. Summed up her life. Very nice. And I said, Grams would love it 
if I put my Twitter handle in her obituary. You know, survived by her grandson, Big Dick Delio. <laughs> it's true. I really said that. But it's a joke. I don't have a Twitter handle. I only have a Facebook and Instagram. But I do have a huge dick. That's very true. Very, very true. <laughs> I love you, Frank. <laughs> Uh, not like that. I know you San Franciscans are like that. It's not what I meant. No, you know you know how people do those DNA tests, right? I had a friend that, s that got their results back and say, said, I can say the N-word now because it si my results said that I'm 4% African American. I said, oh, that's nice. That's really funny. I got my results back, and it said that I'm 9 and a half inches African American. Okie dokie. Andrew Daly on everybody. Such an awkward ending. No need to put the mic in that mic stand. I'm going to talk to you for a second here, Andrew. Thank you. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, more recently since, like, January. Since, since January. Like January. Heck yeah. You work here at Cobbs? I work here at Cobbs. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, make sure you tip your bar and wait staff. That's right. I, yes, I need yeah. to make rent, so yes. please tip Very your bar good. and wait staff. Absolutely. <laughs> if your dick let's was really that big, you wouldn't have to work here. That's hey. true. Okay, let's check in with Dorothy. <laughs> I was just going to say I've had queefs funnier than that's it. Who's talking? I actually believe that. I really do. Yes, there's some of that good queefing music from the hit movie The Godfather. It makes complete well, sense Well, we are there. Italian, Sicilian, you know. Uh, so, uh, Andrew, welcome, yes, welcome. Tony, thank you for having me. How Mr. long Hitchcock? have you been working here at Cobbs? Uh, since February, actually. Since, since February. February. So you started comedy in January. Well, I've been doing like comedy, but like more seriously since January. Right, more seriously. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's always yeah. a safety valve. This is so cool. This is. I, I apologize. I had never listened to your show. No, that's fine. No, I I, 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 I could they, give a fuck less about you. You just started. I know. But it's I'm okay. A fan. I'm I don't, a fan. You don't have to boo the man for not I listening to me. I fuck you guys. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. He's just oblivious. Okay, it's, now where they're turning it's on okay. me. He's okay. probably a big fan of uh, of, good, re, of good stuff. You know what I mean? Some yes. of that like Comedy Central stuff. <laughs> uh, so uh, what else do you do when you're not working here at a comedy club? What um, I was doing 12 years ago when I was half your age. Uh... <laughs> I, I go to school. I go to school full time. Oh yeah, what are you studying? Yeah, I am a. Uh, I study media history and film production, and I'm a philosophy minor. Wow. <laughs> there you go. A real fucking party machine. Yes. Yes. Is it true that you get all the pussy? It's true. It's true. Yeah. Let me ask you this. You bragged about having uh, a big penis. Is right. that true? Uh. Y yes. So it's it is very true. true. How many of you guys want to see this guy get an erect penis right now? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm joking. I'm just kidding. There you go. Okay, it's not. It's not happening. There you go. I love it. Fuck yeah. No, it's okay. He, he, it's not going to get an erect penis, Brian. I can't believe you took that seriously. <laughs> uh, I was saying I got a sock. We can cover that shit up. Fuck yeah. So let me ask you this, Andrew. If you do have a penis that big, why uh, why brag about it? Like, is it something that you think like girls like in the room will take you up on? Like, is it really nine well, inches? Well, I, I hope so. Has that ever worked before? Uh, no, I'm, I have these are kind of new jokes. Is that true? Joke. Is that really a new joke? If I ask, it like, is a new joke. How I, new the, is it? When did you? The write first it? time I did it was last Tuesday or like two weeks ago. I did did it Tuesday. work then? Uh, it d it didn't get me laid, but it made the crowd laugh. It did. Yes. Where was that at? It was here at Cobb's open mic. What a awesome. difference a week makes, huh? Yeah. I yeah. like your style, dude. So you've measured Thank this. You. What'd you say? Nine and a half or nine and nine three and quarters? Nine and a half inches African American is the joke. Right, so yeah. it's, but that's true. It's really nine and a half. That's what you're saying. Yes, yeah. I have to wear very tight underwear with tight pants. So let me ask you this: When you measure that, are you going? Uh, do you uh, do you go straight from the base to the very tip? I try and get as much out of it as I can. I'm pushing in, dude. He's going right. from asshole I'm to belly button. I'm pushing the ruler yeah. inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is really interesting stuff. This is so fun. Oh no, it's I mean, we're just. It's fun for me. No, I. <laughs> I I part of me it. thinks you still like it because now you're like, oh, I'm being like timid about my big dick and you're hoping somebody will ask no, you about it later. No, no, like if anyone wants to find out after the show. No, nobody wants to find out after the show, Andrew. It's That's fine. Like, 
That's why it's weird. I think Tristan. Tristan would be good for that. Yes. Not a lot of people know this, but Tristan has a nine and a half inch butthole. So. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to the deep end, Playboy. <laughs> yeah. and Andrew, any fun facts about your life that we'd be interested to know? You've lived a. Uh, you seem like you've lived a full life. How old are you, Andrew? Uh, I'm fucking 31. I'm 31, 31. years old. Yeah, yeah, 31. I can cuss. I'm 31 years old. Um, this is bad. What? What's bad? What? I just like I'm 31. No one cares. Because right. you're 31. What, what did yeah. you? What did you think they would do? I don't know. Cheers. Like I'm 31 too. No, nobody's got to cheer for 31. Andrew. There's like I'm 22. And Any I hobbies fuck when 30 you're not working here doing stand-up comedy? Uh, I like. I actually like really enjoy watching comedy. I I, I used to work. I've seen you headline before at Rooster mm -hmm. Tees. Mm -hmm. This is going to get too sad for me. You from but Sunnyvale? Uh, I'm from San Jose. From San Jose, actually. Okay. San there you Jose, go. There's, there's, there's the three sympathy whoops you've been looking yeah, for. Yeah, there we go. Follow me on Instagram, big dick. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> You're the worst I'm, type of comedian uh, on the planet. Yeah, uh, I, feel, I feel good about My grandmother like would that. be very proud it would help. of it, it would yes. it, it would benefit you to start listening to this show to find yeah. out what people <laughs> find yeah. listenable and unlistenable. This is fun. Did you signed up for it, pal. Did your grandma actually die? She did die. What, what'd That's she die not from? A, so she fucking had, lucky. She dude. had cancer. She had a very... <laughs> She's, she had a nine and a half inch tumor. <laughs> yeah. It's been. Uh, yeah, she died in real life, and she's very proud of me. She would love to know that I turned her death into a big dick joke. Yeah, how she, recently did she die? She d Like a fucking month ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what grandmas do. See, so this is how I'm trying to get laid. Make jokes about my huge wiener and then get the sympathy side. With she, my did she ever get to see you do stand-up comedy? She did, yes. Oh, that, did. That, oh. That's when the cancer yes, came yes. in, she, right? She's the one that... <laughs> God rest his soul. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. This is, this is fun. He killed one person that night. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, so when she... When go. I found when Just I found random out sound effects, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's my elephant trunk penis. Uh, when when I found at out at this point, let's just see it. I mean, good I'm not gonna God. whip out my dick. I, I actually I'm, I'm not gonna whip out my dick. Or it's show it to me behind the curtain and I'll report <laughs> on it from behind oh, stage. How about that? Would you be willing to do that, Andrew? That seems reasonable. Will you show Jeremiah your flaccid penis? Yes. How many of you think we should end the episode with Jeremiah either confirming or denying this guy's big dick? Hey! Come in. Fuck yeah. Well, here we go. We've never done Come this in. before. This is a very right. uh, momentous occasion. I'm going to oh do a God. little play-by-play. Play. Hey, off stage. Do you have a flashlight on your I phone? I don't know what's happening here. This is oh. frightening. I need the flashlight. Half the band went over okay. there. Perfect. He's about to show them. Okay. Is it really happening? This is happening. <laughs> it looks no, like he's going to do it. Okay. <laughs> it looks uh. like his dick's telling a ghost story. Everyone has their flashlights out All right. in the hallway. <laughs> Jeremiah, what's happening over there? Can you give a play-by-play? -play? You're out in the darkness. All right, here we are. He is unbuckling his belt at the moment. This is okay. No, David Lucas just asked if he's gay for watching this. No, you're not. No, you're not, David. I know homophobia runs rampant in the black community. It's okay. Is he gay for watching this? Ah, it's so funny. It has to be true. So true. It's I'll hilarious. do it. <laughs> You'll do what? I'll show Jeremiah my dick, dude. Did what? There's, there's no cameras. It's fine. We're, Jeremiah, we're totally did good. you see it? What's going on over there? Give us. Keep he's us unbuckling. He's, he's unbuckling. He's, he's doing unbuckling. great. Like what the fuck? Does he have a safe around his cock? <laughs> he's, 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 uh, he's, he, he's unzipping. He's uh -huh. unzipping right now. Oh my god, this is frightening. Okay, the he's, he's, truth. he's starting to pull. Oh. We just start hearing kung fu noises. There's no, there's <laughs> no time. <laughs> I'm waiting to hear like an audible like. Th he's he's claiming to be a grower now. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. We were we thought that would happen. Right, this guy's giving me evil eyes for some reason. Nobody, he's mad nobody at me. can see. Nobody can see. The guy the guy wearing earrings can't wait to show his dick to Jeremiah. He's just literally like I was built for this. What'd you say? Four piercings. You have 
fort dick piercings? Jeremiah, another guy wants to show wait, you his cock. Wait, okay. wait, come on, come wait. on up here. Go show Jeremiah your dick. Come show me your dick. This I gotta this see this. Come show it to me. Come this show is it to a me, honey. brand let's new go. segment on Kill Tony called Yay. Show Jeremiah Your Dick. Okay. Let's Yay. get over here. This guy All right. is wow. This guy is uh, okay. wasting this, no time whatsoever. This guy's taking off jewelry. Are we about to make love right now? What's <laughs> happening? Okay, wow. here we are. Wow, he, Tristan. Just okay, <laughs> I'm looking at his penis. Uh, oh he, my God, he, I see it. <laughs> he literally <laughs> wait. He literally has five piercings on it right now. Uh, he's got uh, a very hairy taint, and it's also it's also a pierced uh, taint as well. What? And it's a very it's a it's a it's a sizable fat penis. Okay. <laughs> it, uh, somebody just said it looks like Mad Max. <laughs> Fury Road. This is incredible. Uh, this give it up for my friend. Yeah, give it up for this guy. This is the first time we. This is the first ever weenie roast oh. here on Kill Tony. Wait. Oh what my God. <laughs> Wait. What is this guy? What is? Wait. Is this a midget? Come on. Give it up here, buddy. Oh. Show me your dick. This guy wants to show you. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, honey. Show me your, show me, your, show me your penis. All right, let's, all right, let's see, let's see your penis. There all right. is a this live is midget that just crawled on stage. He cannot wait to show Jeremiah his dick. All right, they're all in a doorway. This right. show is never. All right, here we go. San Francisco to give us <laughs> our gayest <laughs> episode ever, ladies and gentlemen. No. We're not filming. There is a midget showing Jeremiah's dick. Jeremiah, what's going on over there? All right, all right. The the first guy is starting to show me his penis. He he's he's poking it through his boxes. And Andrew De Leon's and, finally, and, and I just want to. Andrew's finally like, oh, there's a midget. I, I'll show my dick. I just want to say the the little person has a bigger penis than the nine and a half inch <laughs> guy. Yes. I'm talking about magical. It is confirmed. It is confirmed. And it's in there. This has been Kill Tony Mania Part 2 for the night. Thank you to this little person. Ask this guy, Jeremiah, get this guy's name. What, what's your, what, their head. What's your name, their honey? Head. What's your name, honey? Clint Brown. What is it? Clint. Clint? Yeah. Give it up for Clint, ladies and gentlemen. Or Big Wiener. Or Big Wiener. Give it up for Big Wiener Clint. Fuck yeah. <laughs> This guy, clearly a member of the Lollipop Guild. He's got a fucking dick like a normal human being. Look at that. What's going on over here? I love this guy's style. Great stuff, man. Great you, job you, having a great you, job having an average sized dick. You wonder why he walks with a limp. It's from uh, from the meat hanger. That <laughs> How about another hand for this guy, everybody, and uh, everybody else that you saw. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, who else wants to come backstage and show me their cock? <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, and that is uh, that is tonight's episode of Kill Tony, everybody. How about uh, another hand for Jeremiah Watkins, huh? Jeremiah Watkins has a podcast. He's on social media, but you know that. You listen to every episode. He's headlining Huntington Beach, The Rec Room, November 16th, St. Louis, November 29th and 30th, San Diego, December 6th, and Kansas City, December 19th to the 21st. That's him headlining. Tickets are available at jeremiahwalkins.com. We have the uh, we have the Kill Tony Mania prints from Ryan J. E. Belt available for s sale after the show. We're all going to sign them, take pictures with you if you want. Let's look at tonight's print that he drew while you all sat there doing nothing. There you go. Come say hi to all of us after the show. How about one more time for Jesse Johnson, everybody joining the band tonight? How about one more time for the great Chroma Chris, everybody? Silent but deadly. Chroma, what'd you think about tonight's episode? It was golden, Tony. Fuck yeah. And how about one more time for Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, Fuck also yeah. Check. One more time for Tristan Bowling, fresh out of the psych ward. Absolutely having a blast killing it. One more time for the great William Montgomery, everybody. Yeah. And look at that over there. It's David Lucas, everyone. Oh. Two more shows tomorrow night. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. We love, love you guys. Good night. The Kill Tony Band also has the Big Gay Calendar. We got calendars in the lobby. Big Gay Calendar. <laughs> <laughs>